Good Thursday morning, everyone. I'm thankful for you today. I'm thankful for morning prayer and devotion for this wonderful time that we share together each day. I can't say I feel the same way every day as far as uh, physically or uh, the tiredness factor, but I'm always thankful and grateful for this opportunity because uh, this is the day the Lord has made, and we've made the decision to rejoice and be glad in it, to go before his throne of grace together, knowing that he hears our prayers and knowing that we have the uh, power to encourage one another today just by our presence here. So I'm thankful that you're on the other side of that camera today. We do have much to pray about, and we want to pray for peace and comfort this morning uh, for some families who have lost someone dear to them this week, the Ogilvy family. Michelle Ogilvy's sister Lisa passed away Monday morning, so let's continue to remember that family as they are coping with their loss. Uh, Gerald Hudson passed away Sunday evening. Uh, this is Michelle Walker's grandfather, Betty Cossie's uh, father, and so we're praying for peace and comfort for the family today. The funeral service is this afternoon. Shane May passed away Sunday night after a strenuous bout of pneumonia, so let's continue praying for his family as well. This is a family connected to Carmen. We're praying for continued recovery this morning for evangelist Billy Huey, Carmen's cousins Kelly and Shannon, Tina's mother, and Sheila Sappington, all who have suffered stroke in recent months. Russ broke his clavicle recently. Anita broke her neck. Eric Williams had major ankle surgery and faces six months of rehab. Megan Rackley is now recovering at home from injury she sustained in the Crothersville tornado. And baby Brantley Joe is recovering from open heart surgery less than two weeks ago. So let's continue to remember these, believing for their continued and complete recovery. Uh, Brother Steve Cummins had cataract surgery earlier in the week and is now scheduled to have surgery on his lymph nodes next month as a follow-up precautionary measure to his recent cancer surgery. Uh, Brother Steve and his family have been through uh, so much, and so let's pray for God's continued strength um, as he uh, faces yet another uh, surgery. But we're thankful for all that the Lord has done and that he is cancer-free. Uh, Chloe Isaac is preparing to move to Georgia and um, will be starting immunoglobulin infusion therapy uh, there. She's been diagnosed with the primary immune deficiency disorder. And so we're praying for her healing and for her adjustment to her a new life in Georgia. Melana Cummins, Beth Wheatley, and Marsha Moore all suffer with migraines. We continue to pray for them. Barbara Owens and Bob Perkins have shingles. Jamie Jo Day needs healing of her liver. Uh, Jasmine Fields has been experiencing premature labor. We have several children in need of our prayers today. Myra, Lorelei, Janet, and Tucker all battling cancer. Abel Ray with PKU syndrome, which is a disease in which you cannot take protein into your diet. Tano Lopez has spina bifida. Abram Page was born with a very rare disorder. It's called GNAO1. Grady Sappington's grandson has developmental problems. Uh, those with back issues today include Debbie Biddick's friend Lori Gravel, Charles Davis, Pam Pulliam's daughter Jenny, Tammy Lawson, Bob O, Melana Cummins, Britt Moore, James Graham, Terry Adams, and Michael Parrott. Renee is struggling with uh, mobility issues due to problems with their hips and knees. Brother Marty DeLotte and Brother Riley March both suffer with MS. Beulah Ziegler, Russ, Ron Bryant, and Tim Workman all need the healing of Parkinson's disease. We have uh, several who are currently battling cancer and uh, three who are stage four. Christy Smith with stage four metastatic breast cancer and liver cancer. The lady who I've mentioned to you who at this time wishes to uh, remain anonymous, uh, diagnosed with stage four metastatic breast cancer, Edie Percival with stage four ovarian cancer. These ladies all need our fervent prayers. Nathan Van Ingman, Lisa Workman, uh, Terry Adams' friend, Michael Bolin, Monica Harmon, Linda Fox, Del Bishop, Lydia, Philip Randall, 
James Graham's aunt, Kathy Bloss, Aaron Payne, Kathy Burks, Dennis Phelps, Sylvia Larimore, Kay, Ari Bowers, Tanya Schutz, Dwayne Lewis, Alicia Piero, Diane Escher, Claire, Marsha Moore's friends, grandparents, and Jenny Coffey, all awaiting their cancer-free diagnosis, and we're believing for that for each of them. William and Grover Straysoner have COVID. J.B. Goforth's sister, LaVon, has COVID, and at last word was on a ventilator. Uh, Miss Angie uh, is recovering now at home from uh, COVID pneumonia. John Vaughn has had COVID and flu. Pastor Carl Adams, Jessica and Mike Coatney, believing for continued recovery for them. Zach Osgood's dad, Judy Johnson's sister, Jenny, and her family. We are waiting updates on them. At last word, they were still battling COVID. Carmen's Aunt Norma has been experiencing continued improvement, and we're also believing for healing for Dee Dee's nine-month-old great-niece Emery and Emery's mother Kaylee, who both have been diagnosed with COVID in recent days. Uh, other lung and respiratory conditions, Don and Betty Cossey both have chronic bronchitis. Robbie Northup and Kendra Ortiz suffer with COPD. Uh, heart issues today, baby Elsie, Penny Hudson, Jake Billingsley, Brenda Storm's friend Melvin, Kenny Prinzel, Cheryl Lachance, and Pastor Steve Sullivan's dad. Heather Spence, Michael Parrott, Olivia, Terry Adams, and Regina Marlin's granddaughter Aubrey, as well as Kristen's neighbor Natalie, all have GI issues. Natalie also is diabetic. Zara Johnson is diabetic and has been in the hospital with pneumonia recently. Others with diabetes today, Terry Adams' friend Marcia, Emily Stanley, Tim Workman, Cheryl Lachance, uh, myself, Brother Pulliam, Christian Carr, and Titus Dornbach. Uh, kidney problems include Jim Connor, who's awaiting a kidney transplant, and Brother Virgil Pulliam's brother, who needs healing not only of his kidneys, but also of cirrhosis of the liver and pancreatitis. Uh, J.B. Goforth is on hospice care. And in our other health needs today, Kevin Gossett, Brother and Sister Pulliam's granddaughter Morgan, Meredith, Jimmy Holden, Bobby Larmy, Nicole, Regina Bishop, Shirley Garner, Judy Williams' sister Mary, and Erica Ruff's grandmother Shirley Ruminer. I will mention that Erica was back at church last night and said that she is feeling much, much better. Um, sister uh, Cheryl Chance has an unspoken need today. Let's remember her request. We know that God knows the details of that and is moving even now on her behalf. Uh, spiritual and family needs today. Excuse me. Dee Dee Sealer's biological father and his family. Rebecca Rush has an unspoken request for a need within their family that's been ongoing for several months now. Marcia and Britt are needing continued prayers for direction for their son Josh and prayers for all their children and their granddaughter. Uh, Marcia's friend and her family need our prayers for salvation. Debbie Biddick's family. Our Mingo RCF residents, I desire your prayer covering for Bible study there. Our Mingo Job Corps students and alumni, we're believing for that facility to be able to reopen. Judy and Mike Williams family, um, and also a special and spoken request for their grandson Michael, their granddaughter Rebecca, and Rebecca's mother Dana. We're praying for Cheryl's family, for Josiah, Terry Adams' children, Pam Williams' children, Charles and Amber Gossett, Barbara Owens, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Andrea Perkins uh, with a special and spoken need, Baby G's adoption, Annette and Dave for healing in their marriage, Grace's best friend and her family, and Grace's circle of friends who need salvation, James and Angela Graham and family, Sheila Outlaw desires a closer walk with the Lord, Mark and Caitlin need our prayers, as do the Sappington family, Regina Marlin's family, Art Chandler, Beulah's family, Caroline Sexton's family, and Alicia. And we want to especially continue to believe for those who are bound by drugs and other addictions to receive deliverance. And let's also continue praying for uh, new startup works, uh, proclaiming the gospel in their communities. Pastor Aaron and Sister Rachel Castillo, who have started a new work in, or have taken on a new work in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, that work originally started by John and Sherry Patterson, and they're continuing to establish that work. 
there. Our Burmese preaching point in Bevo Mill, Missouri. I would also mention our Spanish preaching point in uh, Steele, Missouri, and Victor Jackson and his family starting a new work in the Orlando area. So we're believing for God's continued work in all of these situations. Um, I want to take a moment and welcome all of you today. I'm so thankful for you who are with us this morning. Good to see Dee Dee and Marcia. Um, and we're thanking the Lord for how he's working in Josh's life as her praise report this morning. And I say, so be it, Lord, according to your promises. Um, it's good to have uh, Carmen with us today, uh, Pam and Judy, and Heather is with us this morning. Good to see Heather. We've been praying for you daily. Uh, Sherman, good to have you with us this morning. Kristen, thank God for each of you who are joining us today for prayer and do so so faithfully. I might mention that others will be coming along according to their schedule today and uh, joining with us in prayer, and we appreciate each of you so much. Uh, the power of prayer works anyway, anytime, anywhere that we gather in his name. He's there in the midst of us. I want to read to you this morning from Psalm chapter 40 as we take our devotion from those scriptures this morning. Psalm chapter 40, reading verses 1 through 10. David said, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it, and fear, and shall trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to usward. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire, mine ears hast thou opened. Burnt offering and sin offering hast thou not required. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book it is written of me. I delight to do the will, O oh, do thy will, O oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Lord, thou knowest. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. In the first verse of this beautiful chapter, David declared, I waited patiently for the Lord. He then professed that his patience paid off. God heard his cry, and God pulled him out of the pit, the hopelessly uh, miry clay that he was in, cleaned him up, placed him on solid ground, and gave him this song of victory. Patience is a powerful principle that produces incredible results. Throughout our lives, none of us will be an exception to this. We will find ourselves in situations that cause us to fear, despair, and even panic. The problem is that all too often we fail to practice patience when waiting for God to speak and act when we are in those dark places. We must learn to wait patiently upon the Lord. We cannot afford to take matters into our own hands or to charge God foolishly. God will act. God will act in the right way at the right time, even if it's not our way and even if it's not according to our time. David went on to say in this passage, I have preached or proclaimed righteousness in the great congregation. Like David, if we approach tough situations with patience and prayer, we will see God moving in our lives and we can then proclaim his righteousness. So remember this morning that patience, uh, exercise of patience is going to be followed by proclamation. We will have a testimony. We will come out the other side and we will have a great word to share with others that will help them. Because you know what? Whatever you went through yesterday, 
you can be assured that someone else is going to be facing today. I've learned that in my life, that there's not been anything I've faced in my life and come through the other side of it that I did not uh, need to share that testimony with someone else who was hanging in the balance uh, trying to decide whether they could trust the Lord in their situation uh, as they went through the similar circumstances later on. So let's believe God together as we pray so many needs we pray about daily and we don't see the answers come right away. Some of these things we've been praying for for well over a year, but we continue. We are exercising patience and we're encouraging our brothers and sisters to remain patient and constant in their trust of the Lord. And as we do that, there will come a day when those will be listed in our praise reports instead of our prayer requests. And I thank the Lord for the promises that we hold to in his word today. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we thank you for another day that you've given us. We thank you, Lord, for reminding us this morning of the importance of waiting upon you. Your word promises us that those who wait upon you shall renew their strength. We shall mount up as eagles. We shall run and not grow weary. We shall walk and not faint. Even the youth will faint. Even they will grow weary. There's no exception, Lord, but as we patiently wait upon you today. We know we're going to receive strength for the journey that's ahead, and we give you praise for it, Lord. Hallelujah. No one can love us like you love us today, God. Hallelujah. We trust you. We worship you. We honor you today, Lord God. You are worthy to be lifted up. You are worthy of our trust. You're our Savior. Hallelujah. We glorify your name. You are our Lord and our Master, and we praise you today for your blessings. We worship you today, Lord, and lift you up according to your excellent greatness. We give you thanks. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, have your way in these needs today. Each one, Lord, we reach out on their behalf today that have needs, that have submitted those needs to this prayer team, and we believe, God, for their help today, for their strength especially for those who have suffered loss and need your peace and comfort. We thank you, Lord, for being our comforter. We thank you, Lord, for bringing peace in the midst of the storm. And we pray that today for the Ogilvy family. Lord, for Gerald Hudson's family today, for Shane May's family, as each of these families today, Lord, are, are dealing with the loss of their loved one. We pray, God, that you would just hold them up today and wrap them in your arms of love. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, today for continued recovery for those who have been involved in terrible circumstances. Uh, we pray, God, for Brother Huey, for Kelly and Shannon, for Sheila and for Tina's mother, Lord, that they would fully recover from stroke. We pray for Russ and Anita with broken bones that they're recovering from. Eric Williams uh, recovering from major ankle surgery. Megan Rackley recovering from these injuries sustained in a tornado. For baby Brantley today, we believe for full recovery from open heart surgery. We pray for Brother Steve Cummins today, Lord, that you would continue to touch and to bless him, Lord. Hallelujah. Let his recovery from cataract surgery be swift. We pray that his vision would be completely normal. We pray, Lord, for this upcoming surgery on his lymph nodes, that all would go well with that. In Jesus' name, we pray for Chloe Isaac today, Lord as she's preparing to move to Georgia and to start these treatments for primary immune deficiency disorder. God, let your hand be upon Chloe. Let your work continue in her life, we pray. We pray for Melena and Beth and Marcia today for healing of migraines. We pray for Barbara and Owens and for Bob Perkins believing for healing of shingles this morning. We pray for Jasmine Fields, Lord, for, for uh, your help with her pregnancy today. We pray, God, for these children, Myra and Jenna, Lorelei and Tucker, as they battle cancer. We pray, Lord, that Abel Ray would receive his healing of PKU syndrome. You are the miracle worker, Lord. Hallelujah. We pray for Tano today. You're able to heal spina bifida. There's nothing that's too hard for you. We pray for Abram Page with this rare disorder he was born with, that he would receive a miracle. We pray for Grady's grandson. Lord, that he would begin to meet the milestones of development according to his age. We pray, God, for those who are suffering with back problems today. Touch 
Lori Gravel and Charles Davis and Sister Pam's daughter Jenny. We pray for Tammy Lawson and Bob O, for Melena and Britt, for James and for Terry and for Michael Parrott. We pray, God, for Renee today to receive strength in her hips and knees. We pray for Brother Delot and Brother March for healing of MS. For those who suffer with Parkinson's disease, we proclaim healing right now. For those who are battling cancer today, we lift them up, uh, Lord, believing for cancer-free diagnoses. Uh, for Christy Smith, uh, Lord, for this friend in our community who's been diagnosed with stage 4 metastatic breast cancer. For Edie Purcell for stage 4 ovarian cancer, Lord, there's nothing that you cannot do. And we believe, God, for your healing. For Nathan Van Ingman, for Lisa Workman, for Terry's friend, for Michael Bolin, for Monica Harmon, for Linda Fox and Dell Bishop. We pray for Lydia, for Philip Randall, and for James Graham's aunt, for Kathy Bloss and Aaron Payne, for Kathy Bloss, uh, for uh, Kathy Burks, for Dennis Phelps and Sylvia Laramore, for Kay and Ari Bowers, Tanya Schutz and Dwayne Lewis, uh, for Alicia Piero and Diane Escher, for Claire, for Marcia's friends, grandparents, and for Jenny Coffey. Lord, each one of these uh, uh, needs today, you are reaching down right now. We proclaim your victory. We proclaim God uh, and trust in your healing virtue. Hallelujah. As we wait patiently upon you today, God, we know that you're moving even now. We pray for those who are dealing with COVID right now for their full recovery. We pray for those with other lung and respiratory conditions uh, that they would receive a healing touch right now. We pray for those with heart conditions. Uh, you see Brenda's friend Melvin, Kenny Prinzel, and Cheryl Lachance, uh, Jake Billingsley, and Pastor Sullivan's dad, Penny Hudson, and baby Elsie. Lord, we pray, God, for their healing. For those with GI issues, touch Heather today. Touch Michael and Olivia, Terry and Aubrey today, and Natalie. We pray for Natalie also for healing of diabetes. For J.R. Johnson for healing of diabetes and pneumonia. We pray for these others who need healing of diabetes today, Christian and Titus with juvenile diabetes, and these others today, these adults. So, Lord, we pray for Terry's friend, Marcia, for Tim Workman, for Emily Stanley, for Cheryl, for Brother Pulliam. Lord, for myself today, we trust in you for healing, for our blood sugar numbers to come back in the right range, for our A1C scores to lower. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God, for Jim Connor to receive a kidney transplant or a miraculous healing. We pray for Brother Virgil Pullian's brother to receive healing of his kidneys, healing of cirrhosis of the liver, healing of pancreatitis. We speak it in your name, Lord Jesus. We pray for JB, go forth on hospice care and those who have other health needs, Kevin Gossett and Morgan and Meredith, Jimmy Holden and Bobby Larmy, Nicole. Regina Bishop, Shirley Garner, Judy Williams' sister Mary, and Shirley Ruminer. We pray for Cheryl's unspoken need. We lift up these family needs today and these spiritual needs among those who we hold dear today. God, we pray for D.D. Sealert's biological father and his family. Rebecca Rush's family today needs your help. Uh, you see the turmoil that they're dealing with right now. Believe God for your deliverance for them. We pray for Marcia and Britt and for their family today. We thank you that you're moving in their son Josh's life. We believe, God, for your continued work in their family. We pray for Marcia's friend and her family. We believe for their salvation. We pray for Debbie's family, for our Mingo RCF residents, for our Job Corps students, Lord. We pray for Judy and Mike's family. Lord, you see the needs that are there, the unspoken needs that are burdening their hearts for their grandson Michael and their granddaughter Rebecca and for Rebecca's mom, Dana. We pray for Cheryl's family member. We pray for Josiah, for Terry's children, for Pam's children, for Charles and Amber Gossett, for Barbara Owens. Lord, you are able today to save to the uttermost and to deliver us completely. We believe today for your intervention in our lives. Hallelujah. We pray today for Jennifer and Brenda's family. You see Andrea's unspoken need. You see baby G's need today of, of being fully adopted. We pray for Annette and Dave for healing in their marriage, for Grace's friends and, and for Grace's friends' family today. God, move in their lives. We pray for James and Angela. God, move in their lives. Draw them to your house, we pray. 
We pray for Sheila today, for Mark and Caitlin, for the Sappington family, for Regina's family, for Art Chandler and for Beulah's family. We lift up Caroline Sexton and her family today. We pray for Alicia. We pray for all those who need deliverance from drug addiction, from alcohol addiction, and from any other types of addiction today, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Deliver them, we pray. Help them, God, to learn to walk in their deliverance. We pray for those in our Celebrate Recovery class and other uh, support groups like that, Lord, that they would receive what they need, the support and the strength they need, Lord, uh, to remain delivered. We pray for our North American missionaries today, for Pastor Aaron and uh, Sister Rachel Castillo and their church in Springfield, Missouri. We pray for your blessings upon them and for your blessings upon our Burmese Preaching Point in Bebo Mill. We pray today for Victor Jackson and his family as they start the new work in Orlando. We pray, Lord, for Pastor Gorley and Steele as he steps out by faith, Lord, working with the Spanish community and raising up a new daughter work in Gosnell, Lord, in the near future. We believe, God, for your continued work. Have your way among us today. We wait upon you today, and we trust you, God, that you're going to move in every need. You are so faithful. Hallelujah. You are worthy. This is your kingdom. It's your power. It's your glory today. Help us just to empty ourselves out of our own desires and to serve you today as you desire. Lord, help us to be faithful as you have been faithful to us. We can never repay you for all that you've done in our lives. We give you the thanks. We give you the praise and give you the glory in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. God bless you this morning. Thank you for praying with me once again. We have one more prayer session for this calendar week tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. right here on Facebook Live. You can also share this uh, through our YouTube channel. Let's spread the word, share these videos, get others involved in prayer. Let them know that we're praying for them and uh, we'll be blessed as we continue to be faithful to the cause of Christ. God bless you in Jesus' name. I'll see you tomorrow morning.